Welcome to DCC. This is a video solution of question number D. Two colored dominoes of pinly round two div one plus div two. So let's read out the question. So we have given a there we have given an n cross m board divided into cells. There are also some dominoes on this board. Each domino covers two adjacent cells. Means what the line says that you have given some board like chess board and you have given a div dominoes which cover two adjacent cells like this or like this. Okay, this this is my domino. Also. Let's suppose it. It is of like uh, which cover two cells, okay? Adjacent two cells. And B it thinks that this board is too boring and it need to be painted. He will paint the cells of the dominoes black and white. He calls the painting beautiful if all of the following condition holds. So what are the conditions? There are three conditions. For each domino, one of its cells is painted white and the other is painted black. Okay. Means if this is your domino, it is divided into two parts. If I covered it this with white, so another one will become white black, and if I covered with this black, then other one will become black white, means vice versa. Okay. And for each row, the number of black cells in this row equals the number of the white cells in this row. And for each column, the number of black cells in in the column equals the number of white cells in the column. Like uh, we have given the cells, and for dominoes like this and this, we have to color the dominoes. Okay. So we have to count the number of uh, white colors and black colors cells. I mean, it's like domino cells, and uh, that count should be equal for each row, for every row, and for every column. Okay. So this is the question, and we the question is that that how is this possible to paint it with the given three conditions or not? If not, then return minus one, and if yes, then print the white black sequence means for white black in the cells. Okay. Let's see the first test case. So this is my first test case. Let's come to the whiteboard. So this is my first test case. Okay. So, okay. So in this question, there is no heavy data structure is used. So you can try by yourself. The main hint for this question is to count. Means that you have to see the orientation of means you have to see the orientation of L comma R is the left right and up and down. Okay. Means left right. And up down means how they affect the column, uh, column sequence and row sequence. Okay, this is the hint. You can try. So if you have tried, then let's see the approach how to figure it out. Okay. So let's suppose we know that we have to cover. Uh, we have we have to make my row color means like uh, let's suppose take for this row. The number of black color should be equal to the number of white color. Okay, to cover this case, I have I have to have the dominoes like in even even number of times. Like the first of all, we have to consider that L if there is L comma R. Okay, means if there is L L comma R, it does it affect my question is that does it affect the row? The number of uh, black and white for the row because if it is L comma R and it is black and white, so they both will cancel out to the each other. Means they will not create any difference to the this row, but this will create a difference for the this column which they are standing on. Like if it is CI and CI plus one, it it will make one difference that here it will the black. Let's suppose this is black and this is white. So for this row, the black count will increase, and for this row, my white count will increase. Okay, and same with uh, same for with up and down case, it does not uh, affect my column, but it does affect for my row. So that suppose this is row i and this is row i plus one, so it will make the difference. If it is black and if it is white, it make the color of the black plus plus and white plus plus. Okay, so these are the two cases which we have to think. Okay, so means which orientation makes the difference in uh, in which cell means how they are making difference. So how to do this? So first of all, we will see that when when to have our means when the case is invalid. So the case is invalid when let's suppose for taking let's take the difference for the rows. Okay, we know that the row difference will create by up and down. So I have to count for every row the number of up and down for this row. If the number of up and down for this row is even, that means that we can. We can cancel each other. Means let's suppose it is four. The number of count and up up and down. 
so it, it can be up down means for this is up down down and up okay so these are uh, these are four like it will be down it will up it will up and it will down so this is four so here i can make black black this white white and white white so there is no issue but what if when there is even number of uh, up and down cell so up and down orientation is there like here is up here is down and here is up so here it is th only three this this will make a difference of plus one here so in this case we have to print minus one in the given test case we can see here for this row the number of up and down is zero for this for this row the number of up and down is one and one plus one is two it is even and for this row this is down plus down plus up and this is four and here this is two so for row it is it is valid let's check let's check for column for column we have to check for l comma r okay l comma r so for this row there is no l comma r for this row there is 2 l so it is even so no issue now for this l r l r it is 4 so no issue it is even then r r it is 2 here 0 here 0 all are even means we can convert in it into a valid valid grid for of white and red now how to do this so i know the edge case when how to uh, how to check that it is valid or not now now let's come for that how to make it white and black means how to print white and black and which which grid i have to print white and black okay okay so let's suppose this is my row this is my grid and uh, i will count my I will count my up. I will count for every row number of up, and for of every column I will count number of L that present means I will make a vector of row co row of size n, and at ith index I will store that number of up coming at this row. Okay, and I will make one vector of column of n size. I will store that how many L is present in this my column. Okay, let's see the test case to what I am saying. That what I will do. This is a very greedy approach that I will I will make here to to cancel out my white and black thing. So let's come to the row part. So for row part, I have to check my u. That I have to make my first half u means if it is u u u and u u u like six u. So I will make my first half u into the white or you can choose black also. I am choosing my white. So if I make my first half use to the white and I have to make means it is must to make the other part of the other u to the black to be cancel out to make the condition true. Okay. So I will count. Uh, I have my count of upper. Why I am choosing my uh, why I am counting my count of u because if I make the u white so automatically there is there will be down present. So I, I have to make this down to the black if i'm uh, doing this to the white okay so i will choose for my u and i will convert it into my black then u then black if and if i will i am doing this to the black so it will be white this is my down part okay now come to now see the test case let's try run the code now for this there is no u and d here it is u so i have uh, i have my row count this uh, for this row i have count equal to Two. So for uh, for first part is here only that I will change my this cell into white and this uh, this will become black. Okay. Now my half part is clear and this I will make this U to the black and this to the white. Okay. Now I will come to this row and I will check that uh, there is U or not. Here is U. And uh, I will make it to the white and this to the black. This to the black and this to the white. Okay. So I hope you have cleared your doubt in up and down. And similarly for the case for L comma R, for I will go to the every every column and I will check if it is L means half of it L I will cover. I, I will do I will do my white. Like for this row, I, the half part is this. So I will make to the, this L white and this black. And automatically, if this is white, this will make black. And this is black, this is white. And I will do for the same row. And I will print my final grid. Let's see the code for better understanding. This is a very greedy solution. Coming to the code. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. So this is my code. I am uh, taking my n and m, the size of the grid, n cross m, and I am taking it in the character format. This is my this is my input of my grid, and then I am this is my row count and column count in which I will store the count of u and d. Okay. So I am covering the case for uh, for my row part. So first of all, I am making the row vector and column vector. What is uh, what I have to do? That if it is u, then I will do count plus plus, and uh, after after having the count, if it is odd, then I will simply return minus one because it is not valid. And if it is valid, so I will make row i equal to ct. Similarly for my column part, this is my for my column part. If it is e or odd, then I will return minus one. Now coming to the formation of grid. So this is my this is for my row part that. This is my count of my u, row i x, and if it is zero, then I will directly continue. There is no need to check every call every row. Then I will do x my equal to two means for the half part, and for I will traverse to the my to the my grid. Like what is happening here? So let's suppose I am at the ith row, and count of this be eight. So for the four, there means there should be four u's. Here and four u's here. So for this for for you, I am I am doing changing it to the. This means that a i j equal to equal to u. Then I I am making this because if this is u, then from the down it it should be down. So I have to make it black. And here I am making a i j equal to w. And uh, if my half part is covered, then for the rest part I am making it to the black and this to the white. Similarly for the column part. You can check my code, and then you can understand very easily. And finally, I am out. Finally, I am giving this result. This is my AIG. Okay. So I hope you have uh, understood the question. If you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment section. I will definitely reply. Thank you so much.